So how is this different from just graphing a line? Well in this case we're going to have some shading that's involved. And to know which way to shade, we're going to need to first solve for y. And then we're going to think about two things. First of all, will the line be dashed or solid? Or will we shade above or below the line? Well, there's actually four different possibilities. So after we solve for y and get the line in slope-intercept form, if it is y is greater than mx plus b, that is going to be a dashed line and we'll shade above. If the line is y is less than mx plus b, then the line will be dashed and will shade below the line. If the line is y is greater than or equal to mx plus b, then the line will be solid and will shade above. Or the line could be y is less than or equal to mx plus b. In that case, the line will be solid and will shade below. There's four different options since there's four different inequality symbols. So let's look at what one looks like. So here is an example of the inequality y is greater than 2x minus 1. So you'll see here that we have a dashed line. The reason it's dashed is because it's just greater than. So we'll have a dashed line and the dashed line represents the 2x minus 1. Notice that it would hit the y axis about right here at negative 1 and then the slope would be 2 so it will go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1 then we created a dashed line. Since it's greater than, we'll shade above, which is why you can see the green shading is above the dashed line. All right, so that's all well and good. Let's look at some examples together. Here we have the inequality y is less than x minus 2. So the first thing we can find here is the y-intercept which is negative 2 or minus 2. We'll go ahead and mark that point right here. And then we can see here that the slope is 1 or 1 over 1. So from this point I'm going to go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. And you can see that from here for the most part this is not that different from what we've already done in the past. What's going to be different in this case is how we're going to shade or are we going to have a dashed or solid line. First of all you can see here that this is a less than sign which means that we're going to have a dashed line. If this had been a less than or equal to then we would have had a solid line. And since it's a less than symbol that also lets us know that we are going to shade below. Alright so that's two things that's important to know. So when we draw the line here, we're going to draw a dashed line connecting these dots. So all we have to do here is just draw a dashed line. Alright, that's all well and good. We'll put arrows at both ends just like before and we'll need to also include some shading here and we're going to shade below. You can just use your pencil for this. I'm going to do it in a little bit of color just to make it makes sense here and we'll shade below here. Alright, there we are. Once again we had a dashed line and we shaded below because it was a less than sign. And we can only know that after it is in slope intercept form, which in this case it was. Alright, let's look at another. Here we have y is greater than or equal to negative one-fourth x plus 3. Notice this is already in slope-intercept form, so I don't need to solve for y here. And since it's already in slope-intercept form, we know what the y-intercept is. It's right here at positive 3. So we'll go up from the origin to 3, and I'll go ahead and make a point there. And then the slope in this case is negative one-fourth. So from our y-intercept I'll go down 1 and over 4, down 1 and over 4. Alright, from there we need to know do we make a solid line, do we make a dashed line, do I shade above, do I shade below, what do we do here? Well this is a greater than or equal to sign, so we're going to have a solid line since it's an or equal to, and 
we are going to be shading above since it's greater than. We'll shade above. Those are the two things that we know from that inequality symbol. All right, so I can connect these points with a solid line this time. All right, and we are going to shade above since it's a greater than or equal to sign. Shade above. All right, there we are. Let's look at another. All right, you'll notice this time we have 2x minus y is greater than 5. So you'll see here that this is not in slope intercept form. So the first thing that we'll need to do here to know how to shade or what kind of a dashed or solid line we're going to have is to solve for y. So we'll start off by subtracting 2x on both sides, leaving us with negative y is greater than negative 2x plus 5. Next, to get rid of that negative sign in front of the y, we will divide both sides by negative 1. Now, it's important to remember that anytime you multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative, we do have to flip this sign. So it's not an equation, it's an inequality. We have to remember to change that sign around. All right, so now we just have negative 2x divided by negative 1. That's positive. 2x and then 5 divided by negative 1 is negative 5. All right, so now this is in slope intercept form. We know what the y intercept is. It's right here at the negative 5. I'll go down from the origin to 5 and make that point. And then our slope here is 2 or 2 over 1. So from this point on the y axis, I'll go up 2 and over 1, up 2 and over 1, up 2 and over 1. Can see that pattern arising there and all we have to do from here is to determine do I have a dashed or solid line and do I shade above or below so since it's a less than sign we will have a dashed line and less than lets me know we're going to shade below so from here we'll connect these points that we made on the graph with a dashed line. And then we'll be shading below since it's less than. All right, there we go. Just remember once again that any time that we have an equation or an inequality, excuse me, that is not in slope intercept form that we need to solve for y first in order to determine if it's a dashed line or a solid line and where the shading will occur.